it would seem that the United States Secretary of the Treasury, Timothy Geithner, is now trying to flee the sinking vessel of the United States. But hold one minute, there's much more to this than meets the eye, as is usually the case. The ex-head of the International Monetary Fund, Dominic Strauss-Kahn, was hammered by the US Treasury, the Exchange Stabilization Fund and the US State Department as he was helping the Senate Banking Committee with information ready to bring down a whole host of financial criminals behind the current economic collapse ruining the world today for the worshipful company of international bankers. For this he was severely punished in lightning quick time with his immunity removed a whole day before the set-up show took place, where he was quickly arrested and imprisoned. The smearing of the man went rampant on the Knights of Malta television media systems, and even the alternative media, who had no clue on the real reasons why he was so viciously attacked. Don't be fooled by one alternative media outlet known to be based in Virginia, working for the Office of Naval Intelligence and claiming Dominic was removed due to his knowing of gold being missing at Fort Knox. I wouldn't be surprised if this isn't tied to Carpathia Austin's Incorporated, who loved to harass truth-sayers and hosts for many of the intelligentsia network. This is complete nonsense to divert you from the truth I'm highlighting right now. Do you honestly think a man of Khan's status would get had for any event like this unless it was a set-up? Come on, it just wouldn't happen, and therefore why hound him within even the alternative media when it's obvious he's hurt the apple cart of our common enemy in some way? So now, all of a sudden we see Timothy Geithner, one of the most covert, powerful men in the US that's visible, suddenly wishing to leave his position for his family. His name is on a list of individuals targeted, including the true boss of the Secretary of State, Jamie Demon of J.P. Morgan Chase & Co., along with Knight of Malta Alan Greenspan, the ex-chairman of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System. Also in the crosshairs is Knight of Malta George Herbert Walker Icepick Bush of the Deutsche Verteidigungsdienst Operation and covert head of the Central Intelligence Agency, which is run from the George Bush Center for Intelligence based in Langley, Virginia. Now can you see why Dominic was quickly attacked? From one minute being the head of the International Monetary Fund, controlled by the Exchange Stabilization Fund, to next being in an orange jumpsuit in Rikers Island jail, unable to quickly leave the Empire State dominated by Crown agents and protected by the Senior Executive Service. The very Empire State which will be one of two capital powers in the coming split up of the United States into ten regions, modelling the system of the Society of Jesus power controlling the mighty Georgetown military fortress university headed by currently Thomas Schmolik SJ. The very university where Senior Executive Service Head Christine Marcy was trained, who's the handler of Hillary Queen Melusina Clinton, the current Secretary of State, and also the US government. If this goes ahead, I doubt you'll see the Society of Jesus puppet, Vice President and Roman Catholic Joseph Biden Jr. being replaced with Roman Catholic Andrew Cuomo, the current Governor of New York who's working hard to squash any investigation of fraud and these derivatives about to destroy the complete financial system at any time and at a maximum of October 2012. He will not be in favour if this gets started and the takedown of these criminals working for the Crown occurs, but don't hold your breath, as we've heard it all before, but you never know, it may just happen. It seems Geithner is certainly spooked by the prospect of indictment and a lengthy jail sentence. Seems he doesn't want to be on the bad side of the worshipful company of security professionals who he's aided all this time in helping build the US into the largest prison state, simply for profit of course. Not only is Jamie Demon in the target sites for this, but his puppet is too. Yes, Hillary Clinton, the Wicked Witch of North America, is right there on the list of suspects as one would imagine. 
Now, if this does not go to grand jury, rest assured Hillary Clinton will most likely eventually control the Empire State for the Archbishop of New York at St. Patrick's, the Paranose Cathedral, housing the Maltese Knights of the Round Table. The Empire State will become one of the two capitals of the soon-to-be-split-up United States. The other capital will be in Denver in the state of Colorado, as Avedis de Runian highlighted way back in the 40s with his book Undercover. You'll note the moving of the intelligentsia into this very powerful region of the US right now. The US is to be split mirroring the system of ten separate regions used currently by the Society of Jesus to control the United States since 1868 from Washington, Little Rome, D.C., the old land of Roman Catholic Carol and Pope bloodlines. Recently, the people of the land pierced a few holes in the hull of the J.P. Morgan and Chase Co. vessel by buying physical silver bullion, which really put the fear of God into this banking filth with the help of Max Kaiser after he highlighted the damage it was doing to this slave master. For the first time in modern history, the people rose up and dealt a direct commercial war blow on J.P. Morgan Chase & Co., which is controlled by the Worshipful Company of International Bankers on behalf of the Crown at the sovereign state of the City of London, never forgetting that the Crown has been covertly controlled since the 14th century by the sovereign military order of Malta, who replaced the poor fellow soldiers of Christ and of the Temple of Solomon, who had controlled the crown since 1215, when the 1213 contract with the Pope was broken by King John of England, handing over all power of the kingdom and crown to these crusading knights on behalf of the Pope of Rome. The power over the crown is based at four locations. The one is a secret, ever-changing location in Rome, along with Via Condotti and Aventine Hill in Rome, and finally the Grand Priory of England based at St John's Wood. Make note that both the Aventine Hill and St John's Wood were originally power bases for the poor fellow soldiers of Christ and of the Temple of Solomon, who were about as poor as the livery system and common purpose of charities. In other words, these are illusions to mass what's really going on. It's interesting to note that Knight of Malta, J.P. Morgan, spent his last breath of air in 1913 located in Rome, Italy, where his bosses were located nearby at the sovereign state of Borgo Santo Spirito in the Curia Generalizia, protected at this minute by the Holy Roman Emperor King Juan Carlos of Spain's intelligentsia, known as the Centro Nacional de Intelligentsia. You can bet jellyfish intelligence and total intelligence solutions have been working hard during this internal crisis, and especially the senior executive service and crown agents. I bet Lisanne Prozza has gone through the menopause already through it. Remembering jellyfish intelligence is riddled with once Blackwater and US Special Operations Command operatives the latter being tied to the then chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, Henry Shelton, who signed over U.S. airspace sovereignty to the Canadian Chief of Defence Staff, Joseph Burrill, for 30 hours leading up to and during the 9-11 attacks. Remember that Blackwater was a creation by Knight of Malta, Eric Prince, as his total intelligence solutions. The attacks took place within the Empire State and Virginia for the Crown, utilising a Metabridge intelligence operation, which included French, British, Russian, German, Canadian and Israeli operative teams. Don't be fooled by the reports pushed that both French and British intelligence were warning the US of attacks coming. First of all, it was already known in the US, as you'll see from them using Bin Laden on the cover of a terrorist exercise manual with skyscrapers exploding months before the attack. The report of British and French intelligence supposedly warned in the US is the cover, so no one will suspect them in the slightest for the event, even though all the original footage seemed to be coming from French sources, such as Gideon and Jules Nodet. As to who fired the Russian P-700 Granite missile, it was either from a French or Israeli adapted submarine. I do not believe it was the US Navy, especially when you consider the target was the Office of Naval Intelligence, with the intent of taking control of the continuity of government server. 
the missile squad are directed and had the Boeing E-4B in the air very quickly afterwards. So will JP Morgan Chase and Co get what's coming to it? Again, I doubt it, but never forget that the first head of this merged banking giant was one of the sneaks working for Cardinal Francis Spellman and Knight of Malta Peter G. Peterson, trying to cover up their assassination on US President John F. Kennedy with the Warren Commission. This was John McCloy of the Council on Foreign Relations. JP Morgan Chase & Co is playing the commodities game utilising its division of the Liverpoolian Emery Bath Company in England, connected with the London Metal Exchange, all controlled of course by the Worshipful Company of International Bankers. This is why you'll suddenly notice these criminals pushing a large stock of metal etc just prior to a big change in fortune for that particular metal. Do you remember the big purchase of copper by JP Morgan Chase & Co back in December of 2010? It's a rigged game and they know exactly what they are creating and playing with so they always come out on top. The same as how they raise the margins on silver to drop its price per ounce from 50 Federal Reserve notes down to the low 30s. This outright manipulation of silver has now resulted in federal racketeer influenced and corrupt organisation suits being filed on the 30th of June 2011 against both JP Morgan Chase and Co and the House of Keswick controlled Hong Kong Shanghai Banking Corporation.